إن الله يأمركم أن تؤدوا الأمانات إلى أهلها وإذا حكمتم بين الناس أن تحكموا بالعدل إن الله نعم ما يعظكم به إن الله كان سميعا بصيرا Verily Allah tabarak wa ta'ala instructs you to return trust to their rightful owners and that you judge between people with justice. Indeed, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala offers you the best of advice. Surely, Allah tabarak wa ta'ala is all hearing, all seeing. In this verse of the Quran Kareem, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala speaks about the quality of amana, the quality of trustworthiness. This verse of the Quran Kareem was revealed during the conquest of Makkah al When Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam was commanded by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to return the key to the Kaaba to Sayyiduna Uthman ibn Talha radiallahu ta'ala an which was taken forcefully by Sayyiduna Ali ibn Abi Talib radiallahu ta'ala an. Of course, rightfully so, the Muslims were in charge of Makkah al and they had the right to take the key from Sayyiduna Uthman ibn Talha radiallahu ta'ala an, who at that time was not a Muslim as of yet. The quality of amana is such that it is inseparable from a true believer. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, La imana liman la amanata lah. That there is no iman left in that person who does not have the quality of trustworthiness. If a person is bereft of this quality, he is unable to fulfill his trusts, then there is a problem with him. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said that amongst the signs of a hypocrite is that when he is given a trust, he is unable to fulfill the trust. The word amana that is used in the Quran is in its plural form, amanat. Therefore, it gives an indication that there are various forms of amana and trustworthiness. Trustworthiness in terms of the rights of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala to fulfill his commands, to ensure that our day is spent in the obedience of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Trustworthiness in terms of the rights of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam to ensure that we live our lives in accordance to the ways and teachings of Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Trustworthiness in regard to the rights of humankind to ensure that we do not hurt anyone by our tongues, we do not hurt anyone by our hands, we do not physically harm anybody in any way whatsoever. So there are various kinds of amana and trustworthiness. Trustworthiness in terms of fulfilling a physical trust that has been given to us, whether it is cash or kind. Trustworthiness in terms of our time. Trustworthiness in terms of our words. So the word amanat that is used in the Quran Kareem, it's in its plural form. That shows that any kind of trust that we have been given, whether it's cash or kind, whether it's the rights of Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam, whether it is the rights of human beings, the rights of spouses and children, the rights of our employers, the rights of an employee, the time of an employee and an employer, etc. All these are various kinds of trusts that a believer ought to be fulfilling. That is why, once again, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, La imana liman la amanata lah. Such an important quality it is for a believer. He cannot be separated from this quality, nor can this quality be separated from him. Among the very first signs of Qiyamah is that this quality will be lifted from the people. It will be difficult to find a person who has the quality of trustworthiness and amana. Therefore, it is our duty and responsibility to ensure that as far as we can, as much as we can, at our level best, we must ensure 
to be those who fulfill their trust when they are given a trust to fulfill or when they are given something to look after. Amana is also extended to a gathering. For example, a certain group of people are discussing a private matter or even if it's two people who are discussing a private matter and they do not want it to be dispersed to other people. They do not want what you have discussed with them to be broadcasted to others. That is also amana. Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned al-majalisu bil amana. Gatherings are also e- equipped with this quality of amana and trustworthiness. If something pertinent is discussed in regard to a person's private life, in regard to a person's advices, Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam mentioned that when a person seeks advice from you, then you are also given a trust that you advise him in the best of way. You do not advise him in a way that he will incur a certain kind of loss. Al-Mustasharu Mu'taman that Rasulullah sallallahu alayhi wa sallam said, a person who is sought advice from, he is one who has the quality of trustworthiness. He will advise in accordance to the advices of Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. Thereafter in this verse, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says that when you are to give a ruling between two parties, then give a ruling and deal with justice between them. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala then marks with par excellence that the advices of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala are the best of advices. You will never find any advice better than the advice of Allah and His Rasul sallallahu alayhi wa sallam. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala grant us these qualities.